Pro uses a 48 volt brushless motor with 350 watts of power. A 7.8 AH lithium ion battery offers an average distance of 20 to 25 kilometers per full charge. Unladen maximum speed is at 25 kilometers per hour as per the LTA regulation, so depending on the rider profile, the average user would be looking at a realistic speed of about 15 to 18 kilometers per hour. The Flexi Pro can hold a maximum load of 150 kilograms, but once again, the more weight loaded, the lower your maximum attainable speed. The front tire is an 8-inch solid rubber tire that does not require pumping of air and for the rear, a pair of 10-inch pneumatic tubeless tires. The rear tires need to be air pumped and kept to a range of 40 to 45 PSI, so do check on them every now and then to make sure. The steps will be the same for both sides, so let's just focus on the right side. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws here at the back, as well as a single screw near the front of the rear wheel on the right side. With the screws removed, the easiest way to be sure you're attaching the correct mudguard to the correct side is to make sure that the reflective light is facing the back as shown here. Now, align the slot of the mudguard to the piece jutting out and attach like so. Put the screws back in place and tighten, then proceed to do the same for the other side. With both sides of the rear mudguard now attached, let's run through all the other parts of the Flexi Pro. The wheels at the back help to prevent overturn, which is an important safety feature that greatly minimizes the likelihood of the Flexi Pro falling backwards, either during a sudden acceleration or when traveling up slopes. The rail at the back can be pulled out by unhooking the latch and pulling the rail out to the second stop. Careful that you don't pull too far as it will detach and always make sure that it is locked in place. With the rail pulled out, this serves as a convenient place to put a basket or bulky items like boxes on. Do remember to retract the rail when not in use. To remove the battery, use the key to unlock the latch. Pulling out the battery, take note that you can check approximately how much power is left in the battery by pressing this button, which will display a colored indicator with green being full and red being near empty. The opposite side is where the charging socket is located. You can charge the battery while it's not attached to the scooter, so that's pretty convenient. When reattaching the battery back to the Flexi, make sure to align the grooves of the battery to the battery compartment in order to secure it. Then, lock the latch using the key. The charger itself also has a light indicator that is red when charging and turns green when the Flexi is fully charged. To charge, connect the charger plug to the charging socket and attach the power plug to a power socket. Hold the power button to turn on the Flexi. The green button is the horn. The headlight can be toggled on and off by pressing the button with the flashlight icon. Pressing the mode button switches between three different speed modes and there is also a battery indicator showing how much power is left in the battery. The brake can be locked by pressing this lock here in place while holding down the brake. It's a nice little feature to prevent your Flexi from rolling away. Hold down the brake again and release to disengage the lock. The Flexi can be set to move in reverse by toggling the switch here. The throttle is also located here. The throttle occupies part of the handle as opposed to being a full grip throttle to prevent situations where resting the hand on this handle might accidentally engage the throttle. Folding the Flexi is simple and intuitive. To fold the seat down, there is a latch behind the backrest that can be pulled to release the locking mechanism which will allow you to fold down the seat. To retract the handle, release the lock like so, and to fold the entire handle, you will see another lock at the front which can be released by pushing up on this secondary lock and then pulling the latch to unlock it. Fold down the handle and the last step, if you intend to pull the flexi around, is to adjust the trolley bar located underneath the flexi. Unhook the latch, bring the handle over the front wheel and then hook it back in place. With the trolley bars out, you can pull the flexi around easily almost anywhere. When unfolding, if the trolley bars are still extended, always remember to hook them back on the underside of the flexi as having the trolley bars extended while riding the flexi will impede the ability to turn. Bring up the handlebars and lock the latch back in place. To pull the seat up, once again, pull on the latch behind the backrest and raise the seat up. The final step will be to raise the handlebar to the desired height and after that you're all set. If there's anything I missed, drop a comment and let me know. We'll see you on the next one.